when I talk about what I do for a living, I get a lot of, you draw dead things, right? And yeah, I do. I spend hours and the hours in the lab dissecting and drawing dead things. I've looked under microscopes and drawn dead things. Dead humans, dead birds, dried plants, you name it. So why not take photographs, right? Isn't that easier and cheaper, especially these days? Can I just raise your hand if you have a phone or digital camera on you right now, right? And you have at least one awesome photo that you took on it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so don't photos show us everything we need to know? Now my job is going to sound a little bit weirder. So my job is to create detailed and accurate illustrations on scientific and medical topics. I'm a medical and scientific illustrator. Now before you think science, medicine, that's not for me. And she draws dead things. Well, hear me out. The illustrations I create, they celebrate life in ways that photos can't. Medical and scientific illustration takes the overwhelming natural world and put it into manageable chunks so you can understand the concepts without reading pages and pages of text. Do photos help? Absolutely. But can photos show the world that's richly as illustrations? Remember that dead thing I like to spend time with? So using illustrations, I can bring them back to life and pose them any way I want. Using illustrations, I can bring up the important details or make something see-through so you, see, you get the overall picture better and easier. Now, every time a new medical procedure is created to help patients better, a medical illustration is created. Every time there's some scientific discovery that the public needs to know about, there's a need for an illustration for that. So as long as there is advancements in science, there's going to be a need to create illustrations to make the discoveries relevant and accessible to everyone. Now, understanding things and being understood, that's something really personal to me. You see, I was born in Japan, and when I moved here with my family when I was seven, my whole world just turned upside down, and I had to learn English fast. It was so frustrating and embarrassing not be able to speak English to my teachers and my classmates. And I felt like I always stuck out, and all I wanted to do was be regular and fit in. But at the same time, it was the time that I discovered that pictures have a way of connecting people. Even if you don't speak the same language or have the same education level, most people can look at a drawing and understand what's going on. So looking back, this idea um, brought me to my career today. So medical and scientific illustration. So we're not that famous. We're not like teachers or rocket scientists. And even after I say I'm an illustrator and I show one of the works I've done, I get a lot of, you drew that? because I guess a lot of people assume that computers created the illustrations you see in science textbooks and posters at doctor's offices. Well, actually, creating an illustration, it's a pretty complicated process. We do a lot of reading, a lot of research, and work with experts from all different fields. And another question I get very often is that, you know, we just sit down and whip them out in one draft. Well, the creation of an illustration, it's much like writing. Everything starts out with an idea, thumbnails, and brainstorming. Then we go through different versions, different drafts. We get corrections and proofs and all that until we end up with an illustration that's not only pretty to look at, but it's also educational. So hopefully by now that you understand that I love to draw and I love to teach, but scientific illustration to me is uh, something a little bit more so I'll leave you with this story. One time I was teaching an anatomy class and I showed a picture of the heart to the class. A lady came up to me afterwards. She said, my mother died of a heart disease. She wasn't that old. And the doctors tried to tell her what's wrong with her heart, but she just brushed it off. She was too busy enjoying life. We, the family, we knew about her heart, but 
we didn't really understand. Now that I look at your heart drawing, I understand. I've never seen the heart like that before. I wish I met you and looked at your pictures sooner. I miss her so much. And as an illustrator, it's really easy to feel very small and very unimportant. But at that moment, it hit me when she shared that story. My drawing just gave someone a new personal insight. My illustrations, they are going out there beyond my reach, and they're helping other people see the world and understand in ways that I never imagined. And to me, that's some powerful stuff. Thank you. Thank you.